This is Tanya Tataki coming to you live from the Tampa Bay AAC newsroom. In today's headlines, the Prime Minister, while playing footsie with... Oh, folks, I'm, I'm, I'm getting some... Getting a live feed here. This is breaking news. Are you... Sh really? This is incredible. Let me just... Let me just confirm some facts before I break this to the world. This is... Folks, Steve Shalley right now is on location filming a review of the FX Royale 22. Steve is going to be putting the Royale through its paces at 50 and 100 yards. And one of the special things about FX is their proprietary smooth twist barrel. What that means to you guys and gals is improved accuracy and reduced maintenance. Thanks Kate. Here we go. For FX to have stepped outside traditional rifled barrels was a bold move. We've all seen how well they perform, and their established acceptance is a given. But for those of you looking for a competitive edge, Smooth Twist might be the answer. I'll give you the facts, show you what it's capable of, and then it'll be up to you to decide. The pellet is fired down a perfectly smooth bore, reducing friction, fouling, and even the rifling marks on the body of the projectile. During the manufacturing process, the barrel is externally twisted at the muzzle end, forcing the pellet into a spiral as it leaves the bore. If you look at the Spanish moss swinging behind me, you'll notice that there's a good bit of wind today. It is said that because the rifling marks are so reduced on the body of the pellet that the ballistic coefficient increases and external forces like the wind are minimalized. Here's one I fired into my swimming pool. The muzzle's grab points are barely visible. By nature I'm a skeptic, but it all makes good sense, and with the wind being what it is, it's kind of hard to argue with these results. In all, I tested over 30 different types of pellet through the smooth twist barrel, the best of which you see represented here. For a behind the scenes look with more pictures and information, be sure to join us on Facebook.
The H&N Barracuda Hunter and Barracuda Hunter Extreme are good small game hunting pellets inside of 50 yards. If you've seen some of our other videos, you'll know that we've shot these pellets into calibrated gelatin at 50 yards with very good results. It's too bad about the flyer. Up until I broke out the camera, this one too had been grouping at about half an inch. Predator International's Polymag is another pellet that performed well with the smooth twist barrel. And if you own an FX air gun, I would encourage you to try them, despite what you see here in this group. The magazine in the Royale is superb. It's got a metal tub with polymer innards and a clear polymer cover. It was easy to operate and it performed flawlessly, but it won't house deeper pellets like the Polymag. Hand loading was easy enough, but it would have been good to see a shot tray included. This is a nice rifle, one certainly worthy of such accoutrement. If you appreciate this level of performance and are seeking another caliber, the Royale is available in 177 and 22. It's called the Royale 400. In .25 it's called the Royale 500 and in 30 cal it's called the Boss. The metal mag is a grain heavier than the poly mag and is equipped with a very sharp metal tip. It's so sharp, in fact, that I speared the breech o-ring and dislodged it in the firing cycle. So take due care. But the bottom line is that the smooth twist barrel has taken a liking to them and they're wickedly devastating on small game, so they're worth a try in yours. Your Royale won't require much recharging. Its regulated action and carbon fiber bottle gets you over 100 shots on high power with a standard deviation of less than four feet per second. Kate's right about the refilling. It isn't often that I get a rifle in here that can get me through six hours of video production without having to recharge. The magnetic metal fill cover is a nice touch and quick connect foster fittings are always welcome. The 400 cubic centimeter carbon fiber bottle on the Royale is refillable to 220 bar and you'll be on the regulator from there on all the way down to 135 bar. I don't know if FX just has a great regulator, or if what they say about their smooth twist barrel decreasing resistance and increasing efficiency is true. But at this point, I don't really care. To get over 100 shots per fill on high power is a good thing for any air gunner. And the numbers show that the Royale comes out of the factory in a very high state of tune. With an 18 grain pellet, average power across the 100 shots is just over 33 foot-pounds. The Royale is equipped with an adjustable power wheel, giving you the option of high, medium, or low. On the medium setting, I burned 170 pellets before I could get it to fall off the regulator, and this too happened at about 135 bar. Muzzle energy at this setting is still good, giving you an average of over 19 foot-pounds across the 170 shots. You guys know I love ya, but after putting nearly 300 pellets over the crony, I'd had my fill of it. So I'll ask that you take the Royale's low power longevity into your own hands. I can give you this tidbit, however. Last night I shot this fruit rat off our bird feeder on low power, 
and the pellet had no problem passing right through. So pushing metal mags to 510 feet per second make this low power offering a great choice for urban settings. The FX Royale takes advantage of a moderator at the end of its smooth twist barrel, reducing its sound signature. What's more, the power is also adjustable, and with reduced power comes less noise. She's right, you know. It was good to be able to take the power down to low last night so the neighbors wouldn't know what I was up to when I was taking that rat. For all you trigger freaks out there, the one on the Royale is like butter. It's light, it's precise, and it's a blast to shoot. Get it? A blast to shoot. Folks, we're living in an era where air gun manufacturers have blessed us with a plethora of dual stage competition grade triggers. But every once in a while, one comes along that pokes its head out in front of the crowd. The one on the Royale is among this elite group, and it might prove tough for you to find better. It's very adjustable, but for me personally, I wouldn't change a thing. The first stage pull is light, the second stage stop is abrupt, and there is no creep to let off. Twelve ounces is very appropriate for this caliber and power level, and with this much precision, there was never any fear of misfire. And in case you didn't know, FX makes scopes too. They're high quality, have great glass, and are chock full of the features that are most important to you. It's not a pitch, guys. It's no secret that I'm fond of brands like BSA, Hawk, MTC, and Aeon, and this scope from FX is right up there. The glass and reticle were razor sharp, as were the clicks and movements of its working parts. And especially important to me personally, I had great visibility and brightness out past 100 yards. This one's a 6 to 18 by 44, has a side wheel adjustable objective, and an illuminated mill dot reticle. The adjustable turrets and adjustable FX scope mounts are just icing on the cake. Before we push back to 100 yards, I'm going to take advantage of these adjustable scope mounts. Not only are they great for getting your scope height just right, but they're also great for keeping your erector tube in the sweet spot. For more information on that, you can check out our adjustable scope mount tutorial from back in March. The H&N Barracuda 21 grain is probably a good pellet for the Smooth Twist 22 caliber barrel. But in my time spent with this one, the JSB-18 grain has been outperforming it, so it's this pellet that will move back to 100 yards. If you are about to own, or already own a Royale 400, I recommend experimenting heavily with both. Speaking of owning a Royale, if you'd like a special opportunity to be able to purchase this one, the actual rifle I've used in the making of this video, please get a hold of me in the comments section. Air Guns of Arizona has given me permission to pass along a 10% savings and free shipping to celebrate their partnership with AEAC and to thank you for your viewership. Weeks ago, this was a brand new rifle taken off the shelf at AOA and sent to AEAC for review and I hope to be able to pass along more special promotions like this to you in the future. So you don't miss out on them, you'll want to be sure and subscribe. Folks, Air Guns of Arizona provided our rifle and scope today and Predator International and JSB provided our pellets, and you know the best way to thank them. As for me, it was good to get in front of you again, 
and I appreciate how you've supported our channel. Thanks to you, we've recently broken through 113,000 views a month, with 675 new subscribers added every 30 days. So you've got one proud host on your hands, and we've definitely captured the attention of the right sponsors. There are so many great projects on the horizon I can barely keep them a secret. But you're going to like what you see, I promise. So you'll want to stay tuned in. Folks, if you liked what you saw here today, and you want to encourage us to make more videos like it, please be sure to subscribe, tell your friends about us, and give us a thumbs up in the comments section. I'm Steve Shally, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. What? Why are you staring at me? I know. You want me to talk about guns, don't you?